Okay, let's start off talking Calgary here. Two wins against them. What are some of the positives you saw in the game's first Calgary that you hope to see tonight? Well, I think that obviously two different games. We got uh, the game here, we got off to a big lead. Uh, you know, won that one, the one in their building, we had to come back and, and score late to win it. Um, so, it, uh, you know, their team obviously that's it's got a lot of confidence right now that uh, certainly coming off two big wins against Vancouver and Detroit, that um, you know, anytime you get a team that's feeling good, you get both themselves. A team that's rested came in here a lot yesterday waiting for us. So, uh, we're going to have to have to be smart against these guys. Uh, especially in the first 10 minutes and allow them to jump on us and make sure that uh, we got to be doing the right things and you know, get ourselves into that game and, and, and do the right things and not, not open it up against them and uh, you know, the good solid 60. And there's always positives and negatives to back-to-back -back games. Players are already saying, hey, it's nice to be back to the ice after last night. Where do you stand? Well, I mean, anytime you know you lose a hot game, you want to get back and you know, obviously uh, try to make amends. Uh, for us, we've got to find something. If it's coming home here, we haven't been home here in a while. To, you know, to, to get a win here uh, is very important, obviously. And uh, you know, we need to uh, um, sort of stop the bleeding that's going on. We, uh, we've done some good things uh, in games. Uh, we still haven't played a solid 60 minutes. And, uh, I think going back to Vancouver is the last time we've really done that. So it has to be tonight. Uh, you know, we can't uh, can't dwell on anything that's gone on. We've got to move forward here. And, it's a good Calgary team. We got to be ready to go. Scott, that was a pretty long meeting there. You just had was that an X's and O's meeting, or was that a get in their head meeting, or motivation meeting? Or? No, that's a one win in eight games meeting. So, uh, talked about, you know, um, I talked too much about what it was directly about, but just a, a lot more about our preparation and uh, our professionalism, and our job that we have to do. I have two wins over Calgary uh, as part of your wins. That your team will have confidence going into this game despite the recent uh, trend. I hope so. I hope that uh, if you, you know, there's teams that, that sometimes in the league that you can go up against and you don't think you can ever win. Uh, but there's also you know in a game like today where we've had success against these guys that let's use it to our advantage. I mean, we can use any kind of positives here to get ourselves going. And, been a struggle, but we have played some good games against these guys. So I know that uh, they've been, you know, they're playing a lot better, better than last time we saw them. So um, we're gonna have our hands full. So we'll have to you know, make sure that uh, just build off some of the things we've done against them in the past. Sandler is a goalie in those two games. He be the guy tonight? Uh, probably not. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Coach, the, the line shelf has kind of been constant throughout the season. Just looking for ways to, to look for answers, I guess. Will that continue tonight? Uh, when you've got one and win in eight games, there's probably going to be changes. And, and, it, and sometimes it has a tendency to go with who you're, you're, you're facing, the opposition, and how what their lines are. Uh, you know, if we're winning five, six, eight in a row, you're probably staying with your group. You haven't like said one, one, and eight. So you're trying to find the, some remedies. And you know, obviously, being at home, it's a lot easier because I have last change. So I can kind of get back to some of the, some of the looks that I want to get. So, um, you know, last night, Chicago, we wanted to make sure that we had somebody defensively that could, you know, on each line so that you know, Chicago had three real lines that could get up and go. And, uh, for parts of that game, mostly for stretches of that game, we did a good job. We limited the amount of chances we gave up. So um, we'll just we'll sit down here and look at it tonight. Is it still about matchups? Is that the number one? Uh, well, not always the one. I mean, there's chemistry, obviously. There's, um, you know, certain players. that when you have a line like the Oakland line tonight, I want to make sure that I have the guys that are going to the when I have last change. So, yeah, that could have a little bit to do with it. But um, the other side of it, too, you want to make sure your offensive people are working with people with their uh, weekly mobility. Uh, Ryan Johansson's scouting. I guess if you, if you had the decision to make it over again, are you able to make the, the decision later to send him to the you have made the same decision, do you think? Uh, uh, you know what? Well, honestly, I, 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 we're, at, we're comfortable where we're at with him. I think that uh, uh, the, way we, we, the way I've gone about it with, uh, you know, when his game was that we pulled him out of the lineup and showed his video and talked about him, and, and he's come back in and responded very well. And the shift to wing has helped a little bit for him. Uh, we 
got to put him back to center. And I think that uh, we may lean towards seeing him back in the middle of the ice with some more, uh, a little higher up in the lineup. But um, no, I think that uh, we're seeing him evolve as a player. He's learning. He's obviously he's getting on the job training. So um, hopefully that's uh, that's going to help him be better. You know, games coming just down the road here, but also for, for years to come. Coach, can you talk about Nikitin? I know last time he played Calgary, he was really good in that third period. But what have you seen from him since he's come over from St. Louis? Well, he, uh, you know, not, not, not knowing a whole lot about him, but he's been a great surprise. And it's just his size, his uh, mobility, um, you know, his awareness defensively, also his uh, ability offensively to, you know, to make plays. Uh, you know, he's a real, uh, he's real cool. You see him do lots of things around the, the net where. Um, Maybe or in the corner where you'll you have patience to wait some, a four checker out. You know, the guy will buy him and he'll make a great play up the middle. And he's uh, you know, he's been uh, he's, he's been able to play in a lot of situations. That's why his minutes are so high and both penalty, power play penalty kill. And, uh, he's he's done a real good job of uh, you know taking the opportunity that we've given him and really run with it. And, uh, he's been a, he's been a great surprise for us. Scott, you talk about the professionalism. When you see in guys who aren't staying to it mentally, or what, what, what's the what are you what are you referring to? Well, you know what? I'm not going to dwell too much into what was said, but in the sense of it, you know, we're at 35 games. Um, I don't remember a league having only 35 games played. And we've got 82 games in this league, and we have to show up for all of them. But, you know what? That's part of what uh, you know. As coaches, we have to have a game plan. And, the rink every day and have uh, an idea, some idea of what we want to do. And players, you have to come and you have to play. You got to come and play. That's what's one of the things that maybe isn't in your contract. It's one of the things that the unwritten thing is that you have to perform. And, uh, we're going to have nights where you're off. You're going to have nights where uh, bad bounces. You're going to have nights where things don't go your way. But you have to come and compete. You have to come and work. You have to come and uh, you know, do the things that uh, everybody expects you to do. And, uh, Teammates expect it, coaching staff expects it, obviously. So uh, that's the one thing you can control, and we have to uh, we have to make sure that we can do that. Is Sanford healthy enough to play? Uh, he's, he's a little banged up, so we'll see. but he's, he's good enough for some happiness. Good to see you, coach.